So one of the best ways to build your business and get more exposure for your products, services, and offers is to guest on podcasts and to get featured. But how do you actually get on different people's podcasts? Well, I'm here with my friend Pete Vargas, who's helped his clients get on over 25,000 stages. And when we say stages, we mean things like not just physical stages, but webinars, live streams, podcasts. He's worked with people like Tony Robbins and Dean Graziosi, Shalene Johnson, Damon John. And in this video, he's going to be breaking down really his one-two punch for how you can start booking podcasts right now. So how's it going, Pete? Great, man. Today, before we're done, they're going to be able to win a podcast today with the tools that we give them right when this training is done. Dude, I'm fired up. So let's just get right into this one-two punch. So listen, one of the greatest ways to build your business is by being on other people's stages. It has taken them years and years to build their community. They protect that community. And it takes, like, when I got started, I was thinking... Man, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna, you know, do my own stages, but I didn't have a community yet, and so my wife said, "Cool, go get on other people's stages." They've taken years to build those communities, and instantly, in one podcast episode, after doing what she told me to do, my wife, being the wise one, we had customers coming into our business, and so that's what I want you to know: is these people have taken so much time to build their community, which means. They're protected of their community and they're guarded of their community. So I want to tell you the two things that you need to do to land any podcast. But before I do that, I want you to know the person who controls it. It's someone like Sean or someone like Shalene or someone that has this community that they protect them. And I've spoken on the phone with them for over 10,000 hours over the last 15 years of my life. That's how I know stage is better than anybody else in the world. And the one thing they want to know is how can you solve a problem for my community that I'm not already solving? So the, the, the foundational element before I teach you any tactical element today is to make sure you're clear on the problem that you can solve and the value that you can provide to their community. That's the very first thing, Sean. Well, yeah, and you know, like this is happening right at this moment yes. because you know that I help you with online video and finding cameras, but getting to know Pete, I've been to his event twice. I've seen that his proprietary process works to grow our business, getting on webinars, podcasts, and stages. And so that's why I'm bringing him to you because he's gone through my filter of knowing that he can help you get on podcasts. And so I want you to get the information. If you didn't pass that barrier, then we wouldn't be here right now, right? And so I love this. I'm excited to get into it. And so here we go. Two tactical steps. First step, create your first Dream 10 podcast that you want to be on. And you've got to, don't, too many people make the mistake and like, oh, I would love to be on his or her podcast. That's not how you go about determining Dream podcast. Dream podcast is when their listeners are your ideal customers. If their listeners are not your ideal customers, that is not a dream podcast. That might be like an ego podcast. Like, oh, I wanna be on it just because they're famous. No, you're not gonna serve their community that way. So do you serve moms? Do you serve dads? Do you serve couples? Do you serve children? Do you serve business owners? Do you serve entrepreneurs? Do you, who do you serve? CEOs, executives? Who is it that you serve? Influencers, coaches, consultants? That's the first thing you gotta determine is who you serve and then what I want you to do is I want you to go run a Google search right when we're done. And I want you to, you, I want you to enter the words top entrepreneur podcast, top podcast for moms, top podcast for couples, top podcast, fill in the blank with who you serve. And don't just use the word top, use biggest, use best, use most popular. And what you're going to quickly find is a reoccurring theme of lots of different podcasts. Find 10 of them. Write them on a piece of paper, write them in a spreadsheet, write them wherever you want. But the first thing you got to do is go find dream, your 10 dream podcasts. That's amazing. I actually have a little journal and whenever I listen to them or I search the top 100 and I do that, I'm building out my list. So I love this. So what do we do next? And then you do a script. I'm going to give you the script that I made a big, bold promise at the beginning. But if you will follow this six part script, you can land not just any podcast, you can begin to land any stage. And that's why I'm here be, be, before you today. It's because Sean knows that skill set in us. So here's the six part uh, framework that we use. Part one, when you're, you wanna reach out via video, that's kind of cool, like reach out via video. You know how to do video vi very well. So part one, uh, this is all done in less than two minutes. You talk about someone you guys have a common connection to. 
whether it be someone who referred you to them that you know, or it be someone you're both connected to on LinkedIn. Like, talk about a common connection. That should be a few seconds, five to 10 seconds. Part two, talk about them and the good they're doing in the world. Go research them online. Go check out their social channels. Go see what their customers are saying about them in the review section of their podcasts and talk about them and reference back to not just their work, but also bragging on them and thanking them for the good that they're doing in the world. So you know what you haven't done thus far is talk about yourself. And that's a big mistake people do too much. Third thing, so that should be about 10 or 15 seconds, the second thing. Third thing, talk about the problem you solve and how you can solve that for their community. About 25 or 30 seconds there. Fourth thing, give five to 10 seconds of social proof that you have solved that problem. Fifth thing, create some type of win-win. So we'll have people say, man, I would love to chat with you about some free resource that I wanna give to you or some win for them. Think about a win for them, but then the win for you is you being on their podcast. So present some win-win opportunity. And then the sixth thing, the call to action, say, I'd love to connect with you for five to 10 minutes on the phone. I give them my calendar link so we don't have to go back and forth. But the sixth thing is, and there's a reason why you say five to 10 minutes, because nobody wants to talk longer than that. And so that's the sixth thing. Don't say, hey, let's talk on the phone for 20, 30 minutes. That sounds like eternity. It really does today. Yeah. So say five minutes, we can do this really quickly. And literally, if you will begin to use that six part script, less than two minutes for that entire thing, you will begin to win those dream podcasts today. Man, so powerful. So you just got that full script. Now, actually, if you want to go a little bit deeper on some of this stuff as well, and thank you, Pete, for sharing this, um, right now you just released a new video series. Now, I've been through your proprietary process, and it's helped us win stages, win podcasts. And if you want to check out a free video series you have, it's at prospeakertips.com. And the thing is, though... It, once you are going to get on a podcast, that's not enough because what you want to be ready when you get on the podcast. So what are some of the things that you teach in this free series? Yeah. So first off, we're only scratching the surface with one of 16 different stages you can be on. 16. We only talked about one today. We're not just going to show you the other 15, but we're also going to show you how to actually attract customers when you're on those stages and how to show up powerfully so that when you're on these stages, that podcast host or whatever stage it is starts referring you like crazy because of how powerful you were on their show. So those are the things we're gonna be covering in this series and I'm so excited. We only do it one time a year. We've charged thousands of dollars for this workshop in the past and it's completely free to, to your listeners, man. I love that. So if you want to go get access to that free video series, just go to prospeakertips.com and you can get access to that full series. If you're getting value out of this script and you're thankful for that, can you smash the like button and tell us below, have you been on a podcast yet, guest posting, or maybe something else? Maybe you've done a live stream or collabed with somebody on LinkedIn or YouTube or somewhere else. Tell us in the comments what your experience is so far, and we will see you in the next video. Peace. Ah!